Welcome. We're happy to announce Exteriorizer 1.2.0, making the creation of 3D vector Lottie animation even easier. Outside of fixing a few bugs, the standout new feature is the ability to adjust the origin anchor. Previously, the pitch roll yaw controls always rotated the extrudalized shape around its own center, while the orbit rotation allowed it to orbit around the orbit anchor, the red dot. With this new update, we can choose whether the pitch roll yaw rotates the shape around its center or any other corners or sides of its bounding box on either the front, center or back planes. Let me demonstrate. You can notice small differences when you extrudalize the shape with the latest version. In addition to the orbit anchor, the red dot, there is a small crosshair that indicates the origin anchor, and this can be controlled separately from the orbit anchor. Now, you will see what I mean. By pressing the origin anchor button on the bottom row of the UI, you will invoke the origin anchor menu, where you will get to reposition the origin anchor. For example, if I choose it to be in the bottom left corner of the front face, I select front in the drop down and select the bottom left corner of the shape and click reposition. As you can see, the origin crosshairs move to the front bottom left corner. Now, if I use pitch roll yaw controls, you will see that all rotation will happen around this new reposition origin anchor while rotation controls will rotate the shape around its orbit anchor. You can ask why is this useful? Well, I've prepared a brief demo to illustrate the usefulness of this new feature. I will demonstrate how to create this animation of a mailbox and a letter. We begin by adding a square, converting it to BCA path and then rounding off one of the sides to create the profile of a mailbox. Let's name this layer Mailbox, then duplicate it and name it Mailbox Lid. Now let's extrudalize both layers. Next, let's adjust the extrusion depth of the Mailbox layer to be quite long and rotate it in perspective. Let's parent the rotation of the lid layer to the rotation of the Mailbox layer so that they rotate in sync. Then, make the lid layer quite thin and using the new origin anchor tool, let's put the origin at the bottom center of the back pane of the shape's bounding box. As you see, the origin anchor crosshair is moved to the bottom center of the rear plane. Using the position control, let's move the layer on the z-axis half of the distance of the extrusion depth of the mailbox layer. You can now see how the lid is positioned at the end of the mailbox. Now, if I animate the pitch of the lid, you can see that it will swing around its origin anchor, making the animation super easy. While the orbit anchor will remain in the same place as the mailbox, making the lid in the mailbox move in sync. To create the inside of the mailbox, let's re-extrudalize the mailbox layer and make sure to select gradient shader for the front back of the shape. Then let's change the color of the front to black and adjust the gradient to give it the illusion of depth. We'll create the mailbox leg using two simple shape layers that we will animate, and then we'll go on to create the mailbox flag. Let's create a flag outline, extrudalize it, and make sure that its orbit anchor is in the same position as mailbox layer and the lid layer. Adjust the flag's extrusion depth and its yaw. Position it on the mailbox and then once again use the origin anchor tool to move the origin anchor to the bottom right of the flag. Now we can easily animate the flag going up and down in correct perspective using the roll of the extrudalized shape. Let's change the color of the flag and again adjust its position slightly to fit better on the mailbox. Now let's create the letter. It will be a simple rectangular shape with front and back mapped artwork. Draw and extrudalize a rectangular shape. Using the artwork mapping tool, create maps for the front and back of the shape. Open up the front map and create a simple layout of a stamp and some lines representing text. In the back map, we will draw the back of the envelope flaps. Let's draw a path that the envelope will travel, ending up in the mailbox. 
we can copy that path and paste it in the position property of the envelope. Adjust the easing of the path and animate the pitch of the envelope so it rotates while flying. Create a mask that will hide the envelope as it flies into the mailbox. Go ahead and add little touches to the animation, such as anticipation, follow through, little secondary animations, export to Lottie, and you are done. With the new origin anchor tool, creating animation of open doors, joints, swinging is easier than ever.